Since the CTs are a crucial part of your installs, it's important to know the ins and outs of current transformers and how they work. In this new series of Getting Back to Basics, I'll explain the ins and outs of CTs to ensure you know how these devices work. Let's jump in. Let's get back to electrical basics for a second and make sure that we know what a current transformer is and how it works. This will help build your foundational knowledge of CTs and how they work within the Enphase system. A current transformer is a type of transformer used to measure alternating current in power systems. It steps down current to a lower, manageable level for measurement or monitoring. Here's an overview of how it works. The CT needs to have three things to be able to function properly. The first piece is the magnetic core. You can think of this as the sensor that will have the conductor that you want to measure going through the middle of it. Next is the primary conductor or primary winding. This is usually a conductor that carries the current that you want to measure. In an in-phase installation, this would be either the PV conductors for the production CT or the main conductors from the utility for the consumption CTs. Lastly, you have the secondary winding. The secondary windings are wound around the magnetic core, which helps transfer the magnetic flux efficiently. I'll explain what magnetic flux is in the next section. This winding has many turns around the magnetic core and is connected to the measuring device. In an in-phase system, this measuring device is the gateway. So how does the whole thing work? The CT operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction. The current in the primary conductor produces a magnetic field in the core as the current passes through it. This is the magnetic flux that was spoke about in the previous section. The core of the CT has wire wound around it that steps down the current on the secondary windings that's induced by the primary current. The secondary wires are connected to the gateway to make the meter measurements. Pretty simple in its design and highly effective at measuring current on a conductor. That wraps up this video in our Back to Basics series. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for all our future videos in the series.